Hi, good afternoon everybody and welcome back. So uh, right now I'm heading over to uh, the uh, show flat at uh, One Holland Village. So uh, after two weeks uh, of uh, bringing uh, clients down to uh, do a comparison uh, with the new development, we have already visited uh, show flats of uh, Blossom by the Park, uh, One Holland Village, uh, Pullman and then of course uh, Riviera and uh, yesterday we went down to the uh, latest uh, launch uh, preview at uh, District 15 at the Continuum and then followed by uh, Tembusu Grand which was uh, launched about two weeks ago so uh, of course uh, all these development um, uh, in the end why we didn't select and we decided to uh, embark this uh, real estate journey uh, with our clients uh, in uh, one Holland village is also mainly because uh, the prices wise uh, in terms of uh, CCR development uh, right now going at a 2700 plus plus PSF I think uh, this is definitely one of the sweet spots uh, quite undervalued in my personal opinion uh, because if uh, RCR already currently right now going at uh, like Blossom by the Park is uh, 2001 to 2003 expected uh, anyway tomorrow is the last day for the check collection so if you guys are interested to actually have a final look you can always uh, hit me out as well uh, of course uh, we actually do did some uh, selection uh, for the uh, Blossom by the Park which is a 3 bedroom um, but again uh, this uh, particular stack uh, if you want to clear this uh, NUS alumni or that, uh, the, the height, uh, in fact, it will be uh, quite, quite, quite difficult to get in my opinion at the end of the day. Lah. So again, uh, we decided not to go through the hassle of the uh, balloting uh, in case we might be disappointed. So in the end, we forgo the Blossom by the Park. So uh, next up, of course, uh, we talk about Pullman. Pullman wise, uh, not too ideal because uh, for for me personally and my client, we feel that um, the the traffic might be one of the key concern when it comes to uh, selling off next time. Although we are of course uh, within a one kilometer to very very good prestigious schools as well. So next up, we went over to a Rive Rive a, a bit overpricing because uh, it has already been a top. So again, uh, ultimately, we feel that it might not be so suitable at the end of the day. So uh, next up, we went over to a continuum uh, yesterday. Yes, uh, it's a very, very interesting pr project. Uh, pr product, like. okay. <laughs> it's a very interesting uh, development, which is, uh, of course, a freehold. Uh, again, uh, we didn't really want to go through the hassle of a selection the unit and then ultimately we might be disappointed if we can, can't really get that particular units over there. So for the continuum, we actually selected uh, those uh, which are of the uh, lower level because uh, ultimately when it's a lower level itself, uh, the entry price should be quite okay. And then, uh, of course, uh, there's no urgency to sell uh, after crossing the three years or five years mark because this is a freehold development. You can always uh, hold it long to uh, leave a legacy for your kids or your family. And uh, next up, uh, we went over the last uh, location will be a Tembusu Grand. Uh, Tembusu Grand itself is definitely a, a great development, I have to say. Um, although, uh, the, the multi-story car park is not really something that we are really keen to look at it. Um, two bedrooms unit already all been sold, which is I think ranging from the range of about 1.6 million and above. So right now uh, in uh, Tembusu Grand, there's a uh, only left with, uh, for investment point of view, uh, two plus study. And in fact, for a two plus study unit layout, um, if you were to go with something that is uh, of uh, probably a partial CV or that we have to go with one particular stack on the higher level so higher level wise uh, we look actually look at the prices is around the region of a 1.9 million dollars which I personally feel is um, unless you really really love the the, the Gatong vibes you know uh, very very close to like example amenities uh, all that uh, Gatong Laksa you know 
uh, all that kind of thing at uh, Katong I-12 Parkway Parade then uh, you can actually go for that but if number wise uh, I don't really think it's a, a good idea to uh, park the money there so in the end uh, we actually selected the unit uh, back in uh, one Holland village which we feel that in today's market for a uh, CCR region, a core central region to get in the re region mark of about 2700 plus plus PSF I think that is the sweet spot over there and the whole quantum is uh, in fact less than about 2.2 million uh, for a 797 square feet uh, unit uh, and the layout wise uh, is fantastic layout I have to say that because uh, all the bathroom uh, actually comes with uh, windows as well and uh, kitchen wise same thing you do get to have windows so likewise again I think uh, personally it's very easy for you to exit out and in fact uh, this the uh, one Holland village is going to a uh, TOP at the end of uh, next year so uh, to cross over that uh, three years uh, seller stamp duty we will need to uh, rent out for probably about a good one and a half years or so of course uh, then again the rental there will be quite quite a substantial easy to take up rate because uh, ultimately it's Holland Village itself and a very, very iconic building so yep so right now I'm heading over to there and to meet my client to sign the option to purchase okay so if you got any other questions uh, feel free to hit me up and be glad to answer you for any of the project analysis and uh, to guide you along this whole entire process to make it a smooth and seamless one. So everybody have a good Sunday. Take care and I will see you guys soon.